Hey guys, so this is my latest PSA return. I think there's 33 cards in this submission. It's a mix of both English and Japanese cards and we'll go over the grades for the first time together. I don't know the grades because I generally don't look unless I get a upcharge email, which I didn't for this submission. So that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. We'll see how it goes. But I'm expecting mostly 9s or 10s because every single card in the submission, if I recall correctly, were in pretty good condition. So the first card is a Delivery Charizard, got the Mint 9. It's kind of as expected. I think this card is mostly like 9s or 10s straight out of the package. It's a little hard to grade, I think, because I've graded probably 9 or 10 of these now. Have not gotten a 10 yet, so Mint 9. Next up, we have, ooh, Gem Mint 10. So I graded a whole bunch of Silver Tempest cards from the three boxes that ended up cracking. And I sent them all in, all of the full arts and the alt arts that came out of it. So, glad to see a Gem Mint 10. Hopefully, uh, that's a sign of things to come. Ooh, the Lugia Gem Mint 10. So, it's cool to, like, have both of these together side by side. Just because they're they're matching. So, it's pretty cool to get both of them in Gem Mint 10 condition. And very happy to pull them both out of my three boxes. Next up, ooh, the alt art Lugia. This artwork is so amazing. It reminds me of the Shining Gyarados from Neo, where they have like the uh, Shining Gyarados in the Lake of Rage with the Fishman. That's what it reminds me of. Great art, very nice looking card, gem and tan, beautiful. And then next up we have the Hyper Rare Lugia. I'm not the biggest fan of Hyper Rares, but it definitely pops on this Lugia a little bit more just because Lugia is normally silver. And the Hyper Rare color kind of matches him, I guess, but... Generally not a big fan of Hyper Rares. The Skatank Alts are Gem and 10. Beautiful looking card. And then we have the Rayquaza VMAX Character Rare Full Art. Whatever you want to call it. Beautiful card. Gem and 10. So I'm glad to see all of my Silver Tempest get Gem and 10s. These are my Crown Zenith. So I sent off a whole bunch of the SARs from Crown Zenith. Raikou got a Gem and 10. I'm expecting pretty much all 10s on those as well. But of course, a Mint 9. Whew, not a great grade for a Crown Zenith, I guess. And then Entei also got the Mint 9. Why? Like, these cards are pretty much packed fresh, beautiful. It's like, what, what makes it a Mint 9? Maybe there's, like, some scratches on, like, the back. I don't know. Because a lot of times, these newer cards do have, like, roller marks in the back. So uh, maybe that's why what's, that's what's knocking it down to the Mint 9 grade. The centering is a little off as well, I guess. It's a little shifted, and it's not framed perfectly. Okay, next up we have the Leafeon V-Star Gem in 10. Nice. Definitely glad this one got the Gem in 10. Beautiful looking card. All of the evolutions are always so beautiful, the cards for them. Zamazenta. This one I really like. Like, this one and the Zacian um, from Crown Zenith. Like, they look amazing to me. Like, the color... And the scene itself is just so beautiful. Definitely very underappreciated, I think, just because these aren't expensive at all. These cards are like probably seven, eight dollars raw, which is a crime given the art that you're seeing on these cards. And then we have Hidden Face Charizard Mint Near Mint Mint Eight. I would assume it's because of the centering. It's definitely very thin over here compared to like the right hand side. We have a Friends in Sinnoh, Mint 9, also very off-center, so I can understand why this is a Mint 9. We have the Irida, Gem Mint 10, beautiful. If if any of these crowns, even if it's going to get a Gem Mint 10, I'm glad it's the Irida. Gardena's Vigor, Near Mint 8, wow. How is this an 8? Let's see the back. I can see, like, something's going on in the back. You see over here? Like, these are like roller marks, basically, on both of these. That's probably why I got the 8. Like you can see it when I flash it a little bit. That's definitely on the card and not the PSA case. But that's basically like a factory roller mark, basically. And I'm guessing that's why this got a near mint 8. Next up, another Gardena's Vigor Gem Mint 10. Much better grade, in my opinion. And then we have the Secret Rare Pikachu Mint 9. This is a beautiful looking card. In Japanese, it came in the Precious Collection, which is a very expensive set. And the card is very expensive in Japanese. So it's a good alternative. You don't want to spend so much money to get the English version because it's like 20 bucks. 
get the same art. Obviously, the texture for English is not as great as the Japanese texture. And the yellow border doesn't work as well for it. But it's still the same card technically for a fraction of the cost. Mint 9. Definitely hoped for the gem, gem Mint 10. But still a beautiful looking card. This card isn't even that hard to pull in all honesty. And then we have the Mew character rare. One of the most beautiful character rares that we have today. Beautiful card. Mint 9 though. And then we have the Radiant Charizard, illustrated by Saito, one of my favorite artists, Mint 9. Hmm, I think I got a really strict grade. I got a whole bunch of Mint 9s. I was definitely expecting more Gem Mint 10s. Here's a Gem Mint 10, though. Beautiful. But that's what happens sometimes. Like, you'll get graders that are more strict or not strict, and it's kind of, like, subjective a little bit when you come, when you grade stuff. This Lugia is a Mint 9. This is very off-centered. And then we have Secret Pikachu. Got an 8 because this one is more off-center than the other one. So I get it. Ooh, E3 Pikachu. Red Cheek variant. Very rare card. I opened this up myself, actually. And it got a near mint to mint 8. Was definitely hoping for the 9 because it's very clean for an 8. But sometimes that's what happens. Next up, we have Coral Coral Mew. Near mint 7. Definitely near mint 7 because it's very off-centered, but not off-centered enough to get like the OC grade, I guess. Definitely one of my favorite cards of all time though, Koro Koro Mew. I have the Radiant Charizard Japanese version Gem Mint 10. I bought a whole bunch of these. I bought them all raw basically from Japan when they first released. And this just goes to show the print quality of like Japanese cards because I'm getting all Gem Mint 10s it looks like. Yeah, Gem Mint 10. Beautiful. And then the Deoxys V-Star, also Japanese. This is probably one of my favorite artworks for V-Stars, in all honesty, from uh, Crown Zenith. Deoxys V-Star. Beautiful. And then another Deoxys V-Star. And the last card is a Japanese card, so I'm going to assume it's a Gem Mint 10. If you guys like my my uh, my videos, like and subscribe definitely helps me out a lot. And the last card is the Oxus V Star. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one, guys.